Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Net Exponent. My name is Yashika, and today in this video, I have come up with a very important and a very interesting topic, and that's statistical test. So, uh, if you are statistical, if you have a statistical background or not, the most confusing aspect of stats is statistical test. So, through this video, I have made a small attempt to clear all your doubts. And uh, before starting with this video, I have made an assumption that you already know the basic uh, terms of statistics that, uh, uh, that I'm assuming it that you know what you mean by population, you know what is sample, uh, you know the basic concepts of statistics, you know what null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis is. But the major problem which most of the students are struggling with it is statistical tests. For example, uh, if I ask you a very simple question, suppose there is a uh, there is a new uh, model of a car which has been launched in the market, and you want to know whether that new model is dependent on the age group of the population. Meaning that uh, is there a specific age group in the population who will like the model of the car more? So you want to check that. So uh, the problem here is. We don't know which test to apply. We know what are the formulas. We know what is t-test. We know what is chi-square test. We know all the formulas, but we don't know when to apply which test. And most of the students are struggling with this. So that's why I th uh, thought of making this video for you. So uh, uh, in this video, I will be talking about t-test, chi-square test, z-test and ANOVA. So I've basically covered these four tests. Uh, you would be uh, finding ample number of videos which will be talking about how to apply these tests, what are the formulas of t-test and all. But there are very few videos which talk about when to apply which test and that's a major problem. So let's get started. So uh, if I talk about t-test, t-test means student's test. So when to apply t-test? Consi conditions may hum t test apply karenge. So I will be covering basically three things here. T test may hum teen cheese per applicable hoti hai. First is paired testing, second is one, uh, one tail test, and third is difference between mean. Ab inka kya matlab hota hai aur ek kaise apply hota hai. Uh, first of all, I would take about take the first concept pair testing. Iska kya matlab hota hai? I'll be explaining this with the help of a very simple example. Suppose, uh, aapke paas, uh, aap kisi company mein, uh, you are a manager, right? So, you have a test liya employees ka to, do, to know their performance. So, you have the test ke, uh, scores, hai, right? And now, you provided them with the training. Now, you have training provide kari unko. and then you took their post test, Matab, after training test, liya, and you want to know whether uh, the training is being uh, is effectful on the employees, how much the training is. Uh, effectful for the employees, right? So you want to know about that. So here, t test will be applicable. Pair t test. Iska kya matlab hota hai? Jab aapko pre or post ke baare mein janna hota hai. Before and after effects, right? To hum use karte hai t test. Jaise uh, is case ke andar training ka example tha. Aapko ye janna ki apne pre, matlab before or after ke uh, training mein uh, kitni effectiveness hai. So you'll be using t-test here. Thik hai. Ab ye jo pair t-test hai na, ye hum sing, matlab sample jo hai, wo same rahega. Like, if I took a sample of 20 people, thik hai, to wo 20 same rahega, but uh, jo uski measurement hai, wo hum different time period mein karenge. Matlab, wahi 20 logo ka pehle humne pre pe test kara, aur fir humne post pe test kara. To is liye, is case ke andar hum kya use karte hai, t-test use karte hai. If I give you another example, suppose कुछ shops हैं, ठीक है, A, B, C, D, E, F, कुछ shops हैं, like there are five shops, and I know their sales, ठीक है, A की sales इतनी है, B की इतनी है, C की इतनी है, D की इतनी है, ठीक है, and now I carried on some campaign, and after carrying on that campaign, I again recorded the sales of all the five shops, right? So now I wanted to know whether the campaign was successful, it was effective and it increased my sales or not. So again here t-test will be used because we check pre or post dono ka check karna chate hai. So I hope you got it ki pair testing kya hoti hai, right? The next one is 
वन टेल टेस्ट अब ये वन टेल इसका क्या मतलब होता है इसका मतलब ये होता है एंड अगेन आई बी गिविंग यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल लाइक ऑल ऑफ यू वुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इट की जो डोमिनोज का जो डिलीवरी टाइम होता है वो होता है थर्टी मिनट्स विच मीन्स की विद इन थर्टी मिनट्स द द डिलीवरी बॉय विल डिलीवर द पिज्जा टू मी राइट सो द सो ऑन एन एवरेज द पॉपुलेशन मीन इज थर्टी मिनट्स नाउ आई टू few samples and i want to check whether uh, the sample mean is equal to population mean or not jo sample ka mean hai wo bhi 30 minutes aa raha hai ki nahi aa raha so i want to check that so here t test will be used which means that uh, i am assuming the population mean to be known ki mujhe population mean pehle se pata hai and now I want to check whether the sample mean is equivalent to uh, the population mean or not. So here also uh, t test will be useful, right? The third one is difference between means. Difference between mean का मतलब होता है we have two groups, right? We have two groups. Suppose A and B, and I want to check the difference between the two groups. For example, uh, suppose there is a drug. to increase the weight right so uh, i have given the drug to few people like five of them took drug a and seven of them them took drug b theek hai ab kya hua maine unka kitna unka weight increase hua maine wo uh, uh, maine usko note kara drug a ki wajah se जो वेट इंक्रीज हुए वो डेटा मेरे पास है ड्रग बी की वजह से जो वेट इंक्रीज हुए वो डेटा मेरे पास है एंड नाउ आई एक्चुअली वांट टू नो वेदर देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू दोनों में क्या डिफरेंस है कौन सा वाला ज्यादा इफेक्टिव है मतलब दोनों में से डिफरेंस क्या है सो वेन एवर आई वॉन्ट टू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू ग्रुप द टू मीन्स देन ऑल्सो आई विल बी यूजिंग टी टेस्ट आई होप आई एम मेकिंग सेंस टू यू की टी टेस्ट कब कब यूज होंगे देर आर थ्री कंडीशन वेर द टी टेस्ट विल बी यूजफुल राइट द सेम इज द केस विथ जेड टेस्ट जेड टेस्ट भी हम डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू के मीन में यूज करते हैं बट देन वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू हाउ विल आई कम टू नो वेन टू यूज टी टेस्ट एंड वेन टू यूज जेड टेस्ट सो दिस टेबल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट टी टेस्ट विल बी यूजफुल इन केस ऑफ स्मॉल सैम्पल साइज स्मॉल सैम्पल साइज मीन्स वेन योर सैम्पल इज लेस देन थर्टी सो वेन द सैम्पल इज लेस देन थर्टी यू विल बी यूजिंग टी टेस्ट and when the sample is sample size is uh, greater than 30 then we'll be using z test so this is used in case of small sample and z is used in case of large sample right so this is one condition uh, which differentiates between the t test and z test the next one is when the population stand the standard deviation of population is not known when the population standard deviation is not known to you then you'll be using t test and when the population standard deviation is known to you and uh, then you'll be using z test right so in this video i am basically sticking to when to use which test i am not talking about the i'm not going deep into the formulas ki t test ka formula kya hota hai z test ka formula kya hota hai usse kaise apply karte hain spss mein i'm not talking about that फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द बेसिक थिंग इज हमें ये पता होना चाहिए कि कौन सा टेस्ट कब यूज होगा फॉर्मूला और उसे कैसे अप्लाई करते हैं वो तो बाद की बात आती है बट प्रॉब्लम हियर इज वी डोंट इवन नो कि कब कौन सा टेस्ट यूज होगा वी नो आर टॉपिक वी हैव फ्रेम्ड आर क्वेश्चन वी हैव कलेक्टेड द क्वेश्चन बट वट नेक्स्ट अब वो टेस्ट कौन से कहाँ अप्लाई होंगे हमें वो नहीं पता सो बेसिकली आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट दैट राइट so this was all about t test and z test theek hai ab look at this table this table will clear out all your doubts and you will not be getting this table in any of the youtube videos right so uh, for before uh, starting with this table you should know the concept of categorical variables and numer uh, numerical variables Categorical variables means the qualitative variables means which cannot be measured in numbers and numerical variables means which can be quantitatively uh, described, right? So this table explains कौन सा test कब use होएगा and if you understand this table, I hope all your doubts gets cleared, right? So t test says 
when one variable is numerical and the other variable is categorical then you will be using t test which means suppose मैंने आपको example दिया था a training वाला right so in this case there were two variables one was was the time period and other was the mark scored in the exam right in the test so the numerical variable here was score and the categorical variable here uh, was the time period right so here we'll be using t test ठीक है now Uh, if I talk about ANOVA, ANOVA means analysis of variance. ANOVA is used when there are more than two groups, right? In T test, uh, we talked about just two groups, ठीक है? But in ANOVA, uh, ANOVA testing will be used when there are more than two groups to be compared. So ANOVA is used when there are more than two groups, right? I hope uh, you're clear with T test, Z test, and ANOVA. Now I will be talking about chi-square test, which is again a very important test, and uh, uh, the chi-square test is also called qualitative test because it is used when there are two categorical variables to be studied. ठीक है? जब हम दो categorical variables को study करते हैं, तब हम use करेंगे chi-square test को. For example, in the beginning of the video, I asked you a very simple example like there is a new car, the model of a car which is launched in the market and you want to test whether it is dependent on the age group of the population or not, right? So, what I did is I framed a questionnaire and I divided it into different segments of age group like under 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 50, right? And uh, I collected uh, data from few uh, people and uh, they were to uh, answer me in yes and no uh, questions like they like the car or not. So 25 to 40 ke beech mein kitne logo ne like kara aur kitne logo ne uh, dislike kara. So in the same manner I collected data, right? So here both the, uh, the variables are categorical variables, right? So in this case uh, in this case, chi-square testing will be used जब दोनों variables क्या होते हैं? Qualitative होते हैं, independent of each other होते हैं, तब हम क्या use करते हैं? Chi-square testing. I hope I'm making sense. Uh, एक और example, so that your doubts can be cleared. इस chi-square के लिए एक और example, suppose, uh, अगर मुझे ये check करना है कि uh, जो women है, वो... Uh, ये एक मित ये एक बोला जाता है कि सीरियोटाइप है कि वुमेन आर नॉट अ गुड ड्राइवर्स राइट सो आई वांट टू चेक दैट मुझे इस पे रिसर्च करनी है तो मैंने क्या करा मैंने एक क्वेश्चनर बनाया एंड बेस्ड ऑन जेंडर मुझे ये चेक करना कि मेल क्या बोलते हैं और फीमेल्स क्या बोलते हैं कि यस yes या नो ठीक है तो इन दिस केस आल्सो बोथ द कैटेगरीज आर क्वालिटेटिव इन नेचर सो इन दिस केस आल्सो काय स्क्वायर टेस्टिंग विल बी यूज्ड राइट and if both of them are numerical variables, so in this case correlation will be used. Correlation मतलब जब दोनों के बीच का हमें क्या जाना है relation जाना है, ठीक है? और chi square में भी दोनों के बीच का relation जानते हैं कि whether जैसे मैंने आपको अगर car वाले example दी कि क्या जो new model है car का वो dependent है age पर या नहीं है? दोनों के बीच का रिलेशन जानना चाहते हैं कि वो डिपेंडेंट है एक दूसरे पे दो वेरिएबल्स की नहीं है बट इन दिस केस बोथ विल बी क्वालिटेटिव वेरिएबल्स और कोरिलेशन के अंदर दोनों क्या होंगे न्यूमेरिकल वेरिएबल्स होंगे राइट सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट टी टेस्ट जेड टेस्ट एनोवा काई स्क्वेयर टेस्ट एंड कोरिलेशन राइट सो आई मेड अ वेरी स्मॉल अटेम्प टू क्लियर ऑल यू डाउट बिकॉज आई नो द मेनी पीपल हु आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद दिस टॉपिक बी इट uh, commerce students or be it the ones who are uh, doing their research or uh, they are doing their pursuing their PhD or MPhil or the students who are interested in going in research area afterwards. So I just request you to please share this video as much as you can and please feel free to uh, clear all your doubts. You can comment on the box below and if you like my video please click on the like button. Thank you so much.